Each week, new research reveals that something you commonly do causes horrific diseases, like, say, drinking alcohol, and also that something you commonly do cures diseases, like, say, drinking alcohol. And this week's savior of humanity, I'm happy to say, is coffee. Delicious, black brain fuel coffee. Researchers at Southampton University have conducted a meta-analysis to determine whether or not coffee can prevent alcohol-related cirrhosis of the liver. Cirrhosis means your liver has, for one reason or another, stopped working, and that can lead to very serious complications, including death. About a million people die every year from cirrhosis, and the most common cause is alcohol. But also things like hepatitis and obesity can also cause cirrhosis. That's why this study is important in general, because if scientists can recognize how to protect the liver from alcohol-related disease, then they could potentially save a lot of lives and also just learn more about how the human body works. That said, this study is probably not actually important to your life, despite what you may have read in mainstream news headlines. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you may think at this point that the problem is with the study itself. Meta-analyses are tricky things. They're basically studies of other studies, and so they can be prone to cherry-picking. That said, this seems like a good one. The researchers chose large studies that were well-controlled, and their conclusion seems reasonable. So no, the only problem here is in how the study is reported in the media and how the average layperson absorbs that information. For instance, if you read in a headline that drinking two cups of coffee every day can reduce your risk of getting cirrhosis of the liver by 44%, you might think, wow, that is a huge percentage. I'm definitely going to have some coffee the next time I go out drinking. That is a completely understandable reaction, and yet it is 100% illogical and wrong. The problem here is identifying risk. In this case, your risk of getting alcohol-related cirrhosis of the liver. To even be marginally at risk for that, you have to drink a lot of alcohol. And I mean a lot of alcohol. There's been some research into this, and... To even stand, let's say, a 15% chance of getting alcohol-related cirrhosis of the liver, you need to drink 10 to 15 alcoholic beverages every single day, nonstop, for at least eight years. That is, that is a lot of alcohol. So if that's how much alcohol you drink on the regular, then absolutely go ahead and start drinking coffee because you could lower your risk of getting cirrhosis from 15 or 16 percent down to eight or nine percent. And that's something. Uh, but if your idea of heavy drinking is having a few too many beers every Saturday night, then drinking coffee is not going to help you here. In fact, I love the occasional cup of coffee, but I do have to say that coffee comes with negative side effects for many people. Things like upset stomach or nervousness, heart irregularities, raised blood pressure, headaches. These are serious problems for some people. So after your next night of heavy drinking, so long as you're not actually an alcoholic, instead of going for the pot of coffee, Maybe just drink a pitcher of water. In fact, better yet, start drinking that pitcher of water the night prior. You're, you're going to feel a lot better.